All right, I'm Dr. Sean Ryan. Um, so my, I'm a developmental cell biologist and my research and my lab focuses on how chemicals that get kind of released into the environment and sometimes changed in the environment might affect development of living organisms. And specifically, I focus on how this affects zebrafish because zebrafish are my model, they're behind me here. Um, and zebrafish are an aquatic organism, they're a vertebrate, um, they share about, you know, 70 to 80% of the same genes that all vertebrates have. Um, so they make a, a great model for kind of understanding how vertebrates might be affected by such chemicals. Um, and in terms of research, I'm looking for students that are interested in learning things and, and kind of, I don't know, I guess students that are gonna be willing to put forth independent effort. Like I can, I'm not really a slave driver, but you know, I want students to come to me and ask questions all the time that you know, when they're struggling with something, they, they try to figure it out first. And then when they're at a roadblock, come get me and, and we talk it through and try to figure things out because that's how we learn things. We don't understand things and then we understand things. And so that's, that's really what I'm looking for um, in students that are coming into my lab. They don't have to have a lot of skills already, but they have to at least be willing to learn. Um, and you know, I, I think students that are willing to um, kind of search out in scientific literature themselves to figure out what's going on. And then when they don't understand things, we, we can talk about it a bit. Yeah, if students are interested in doing research with me, I would say just, you know, look at the website first. We have some things about what we do in, re you know, each individual faculty does some research. But for me personally, the best thing to do is to just email me, set up a time to meet with me. I'll take you through what we do in my lab and the projects we're currently doing and see if that's something that interests you. But even if it's, it's not directly one of those, I'm all for students kind of coming up with their own projects. As long as it's feasible, I usually encourage students to seek out something they're going to be interested in doing, and, and then we can take it from there. 